Hey, what's up everybody? In the latest update to M4, I actually added this fake physics effect for uh, Mega Scans foliage, any kind of foliage you really want to use with it. It has multiple pieces and everything. It's more for, um, what is that called? Aggregate uh, geometry, like flowers and everything that have multiple pieces. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure that the Mega Scans plugin is enabled. So we're gonna go up to plugins under settings Make sure that it's enabled here. I already have it enabled in this project. After that, we're gonna to go to Quixel Bridge. I already downloaded a few objects and tried it with it. I'm gonna select this peppermint plant. That's what you've seen on the video right before that. We're gonna go ahead and make the, uh, the effect that I showed at the beginning of this video. We'll just export whatever we wanna use here. I'm gonna get this amaryllis flower. And one last object I'm going to get for to show a little bit more of the ground foliage closer to the ground objects export all of these I'm gonna speed up this this process here because it takes a little while for it to actually load the things into the editor so I'm gonna zoom right past that close out that pop-up window and you're gonna notice here on the landscape it actually removed the grass it's just something that the engine does whenever you delete or or add objects this started at 4.26 I think so for that you're gonna to go to magic map material BP and click on that refresh procedural foliage button that's gonna bring back our foliage go up there to modes foliage We'll select all the ones. Let's put the amaryllis flower in there first. Just real quick, one click, put it into the world. Now we'll do the peppermint. For this, I think I'm going to go raise the, uh, the scale to two and three so it's more like waist height plants there's some more glowing foliage that comes with uh, mega scans I can fix that in the material instance here in a bit and here's those purple clovers that we downloaded I'm going to increase the density to 300 so we've got some something more to look at now we're going to set up the fake fake physics effect it's it's super simple i tried to make it as simple straight out of the box as possible it's just a one node uh, drag and drop into the material go back into our foliage menu click on the mesh that we want to change click on its material instance open that up and then we'll open up the parent foliage material this is the master material for all of the foliage that's going to come with uh, the Mega Scans library. So we'll just have to do this once, really, which is nice. It's real nice, super simple. Let's add some wind because it's the plants aren't really moving here. And the wind that comes with it is kind of wonky. So we'll, we'll go to Extras, Advanced Foliage Wind. We'll drag and drop that node straight into the material. Now you'll notice that wind is already hooked up. It's that simple, looks like water waving effect wind that comes with the engine. So we'll plug up that advanced foliage wind to the world position offset. Then press apply. And this will add a, uh, a subtle wind, ef wind effect. And you could change the intensity of the wind and how it's actually like, layered onto the object. And that's in the material instance also. Now for the fake foliage effects. You want to go to trail system for foliage, and then you want to drag and drop the foliage wiggle uh, node that we have in there, in that folder, into your master material like that. Plug the world position offset into the additional WPO. And this is just like a pass through thing. Then plug the foliage wiggle into world position offset. Click apply again. That's pretty much it. 
except actually one last thing we got to go up here to trail and trample bp and if that's not in your world go ahead and drag and drop that in there that is in the blueprints folder Click Enable Foliage Trail System, and let's change the Trample Capture Delay. Let's make it a little bit faster. We'll have it, actually. So every 0 0.025 seconds, it's going to be capturing and updating the movement. And there's the effect. Like I said, really quick, really simple. We're at what now? five minutes into the video we already got all of the foliage having uh this bouncing effect on it it also applied it to the little shamrock mesh there on the ground and notice the ground the ground grass that is on there is is having a trampling effect too that is the actual uh where it pushes it in the direction it's actually a different effect that's set up on the grass. For this next part, we're going to go over the different perimeters to actually change the effect and change how fast it bounces and everything. First, we're going to go to foliage up here, and I went ahead and painted down just one type of the flower, so we only got to change one material instance instead of a bunch of them. Click on the mesh so it opens up click on the material instance and down here at the bottom will be perimeters that you just added with the uh, with the two nodes that we added into the master material these are the uh, wind effects that we added and this is for the physical foliage effects that uh, fake physics bouncing that we added each of these effects also have their own tooltips now to test these out, the easiest way to do this is to go ahead and jump in game with your player and move into a section that you can actually push around the plants. Then alt tab and go over here to the settings with your player still in the grass or flower or whatever. And we'll just play around with each of these settings and figure out what they do as we're messing around with them. This push away amount right here actually I mean, it, it is what it uh, says it pushes the plant away within a certain radius around the player the default settings on these are, are actually pretty good for like universal stuff but I mean you might need to tweak them a little bit if you have a different kind of foliage and that that looks uh, a little insane there with it pushing away like he's got a force field or something around him this controls the, the actual speed of the bouncing after the player has left the plant. And that looks more like rubber or something, so you, you would want to have that a little bit less than it is right there. This is the front-to-back motion. Um, the, the system records like the direction of travel that you're actually moving. So this, this, that controls the speed that it goes back and forth on that direction of travel. And the side to side bounce amount down here just adds a little bit of random noise to the front to back motion. So it isn't just like straight back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It makes it look a little bit more organic after you leave the area. And crank that up just a little bit more to show off what the effect actually is. And see that that's too much that's overblown right there like i said the default settings that this comes with are actually pretty decent spent a little while uh tweaking the different parameters okay for the last little bit that we're going to do here we're going to describe the advanced wind settings that we just added to the master material and instead of going over what each one of these do because I'm, I'm trying to wrap up the tutorial here um i'm gonna make a wind effect real fast and just kind of go through each one and show instead of uh, tell and each one of these settings have their own tooltip so if you get stuck along the way just check out the tooltip and it'll describe uh, what it actually does And I mean, feel free to, to just play around with each of these settings and figure out 
what actually looks best. I think it's better to actually see what it does than, than to describe it. Because me just describing it is going to be <laughs> basically just repeating the tooltip of the, of the thing. So let's try and make a cool effect here instead. And that'll just add a little, little subtle wind so it looks like the petals are actually blowing or something. And this wind effect that um, that we installed on all this foliage is actually the same kind of wind effect that is on the grass that is on the terrain. Yeah, see, some some of these settings you gotta be a little milder with because it blows it out like that. So yeah, that's the, um, I think that looks all right. It's the wind effect with everything working. All right, that's the end of the tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this adds a little bit more clarity to all the new stuff being added to the project. All right, see you guys later.